Hey art friends, today we're going to draw another mob from Minecraft. An iron golem. Yeah, we hope you get to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil and a marker to draw with. You also need... Some paper and something to color with. Yeah, alright, you ready to start? Yes! Let's draw the bottom of the rectangle. We're going to draw this right in the middle of our paper. And we're going to draw... I'm going to... Whoop. I'm going to turn my paper sideways so I can draw a straighter line. And then I'm going to press hard with the pencil too, so that our art friends can see the line at home. But you guys can draw lightly so it's easier to erase at the very end. Yeah. Next, let's draw two straight lines up. One on the left side and one over here on the right side. Then we're going to connect those two lines at the top. And we should have our first rectangle shape. I'm going to go back over it so it's easier to see on the camera. Now we're ready to draw the head shape. We're going to start by drawing two lines straight up. Iron Golem heads are kind of tall, aren't they? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Iron Golem is my favorite mob in Minecraft. It, yes, it is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the axolotl. Mine's the uh, my favorite Two. is the dog. Oh, you like the dog? <laughs> or the dog. wolf, right? Yeah. It's a dog when you tame it. Mm -hmm. Let's draw the top of our golem head. Oh, I already drew that. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> now we're going to draw the bottom of our golem's uh, body. We're going to start by, we can draw an imaginary line coming down from the head, and then we're going to make it a little wider, and we're going to draw a shorter line than the head. So we'll draw, yep, and then go over a little bit to the left and then a straight line down. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. Draw an imaginary line down to the bottom, then a little bit over. I think it's just one pixel wider. Yeah. I love that we're using pencil. So if you want to, you can draw another line and then erase the line that you're not gonna use. We have this cool little sweeper we can use to sweep off the eraser shavings. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of this rectangle shape. We'll connect those two lines together. Now we're ready to draw the legs, and these are really tall rectangle shapes. Let's first draw the inside of the leg. We're going to start here. We're going to draw a straight line down about that far, and then leave a little space, and we'll draw another line that matches. Then over here, let's draw a short line that comes out to the left, and also one that comes out to the right. The legs are a little bit wider than the body. And then we're going to draw the outside of the leg. We'll start there and draw another straight line down to match the inside lines. We'll do the same thing on the right side. That's a big leg. Those are big legs. Next, let's connect the bottom of our legs, our iron golem legs, on each side. Cool, now we're ready to draw the big, huge arms. They go like this. Yeah, that's what it does to you when you go mess with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's draw a straight line from the side of the body. We're going to draw almost all the way down to the ground. Then let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw a line almost all the way down to the ground. Next, let's draw the top of the arm. It comes up just a little past the body on each side. Then we're going to draw the top of the arm coming out. And I don't think the arms are as wide as the legs. So we're going to make the arms a little skinnier than the legs. Let's do that same line over here on the right side. Just repeat the same steps on each side. Then we're going to draw the outside of the arm. We'll draw a straight line coming down. And we can do that over here too. Then we can connect the bottom of each arm. And we did it. That's the main shape of our iron golem. Now let's switch from our pencil to our marker. Let's start by drawing the face. Right here in the middle of the head, we're going to draw a straight line across. Then we can draw another line right above it. This is for the eyebrows. Now we're ready to draw the nose. Right in the middle of the head, we're going to draw two lines that come down, and they're going to come right past the bottom of the head. The nose is really big, like villager noses. Yeah. And then you can go into the body, just to, like one pixel into the body, and then we'll connect the bottom. I love how skinny your Thanks nose so is. It's awesome. <laughs> now let's draw the eyes. We're going to draw the letter L 
over here on the left. So we're gonna come down and then we'll connect in to the nose. And then let's do the same thing on the right side, down and then connect it. This is a backwards L. My eyes are a little bit longer than yours. I'm gonna draw a little line at the bottom of the eye, but you could extend that past so that your eyes are a little longer. Yeah. And then do the same thing on the right side. Now let's draw their eyes. They have one red pixel inside of their eyes. So let's draw a square on the left side and then we'll draw another square on the other side. Okay, let's color in the eyes. It's like he's cross-eyed. I know, <laughs> it, it kind of does. Let's color in the eye, but leave that little pixel white so we can color that red later. Next, we're ready to trace around the golem's head. So we'll go draw up, across the top, and then back down. We're just following the pencil guidelines. Really quickly, let's switch back to our pencil. <laughs> We're just gonna use the eraser and we wanna erase the guideline that's inside of our golem's nose. There we go, now let's switch back to our marker. Now we can draw around the golem's chest so we can draw a line that comes out for the shoulder. Now we'll draw a line down and across the bottom. And then we can draw back up on the right side and then connect back into the nose for the other shoulder. Let's also trace around the bottom part of his body. And let's also trace the legs. If we ever go too fast or we fast forward the video, remember you can always- Pause the video. Yeah, for extra time. Now we're ready to draw the arms. We can start here and draw up, over, down and just follow the guidelines around the whole arm and then repeat that step over here for the left arm. We're almost done. Let's add two more lines. One up here at the top of each arm. So he has a dark shoulders and then also dark feet. So we can add a line at the bottom of each leg. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our iron golem, but we're not completely done. We still need a color. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. We also need to color the vines and the flowers too. Yeah. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yes. Oh, one more thing before we start coloring, we're gonna use our eraser to just go around and erase any of the extra guidelines that you can still see. I wanna do this before we start coloring. Okay, now let's fast forward. Yeah. We're using our biannual markers to color with, but you could use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. Like what else could you use to color with? Uh, oil pastels. Oh yeah, oil pastels. You or can even paint. Paint would be really tricky, but super cool. Mm -hmm. You could use colored pencils. Uh, I love using these markers though. If you have the same set that we're using, uh, the, this main color for the golem is Y900. This is the tan color. Now we also colored green and yellow for the vine and flowers that he has growing on his body. We didn't worry about trying to make the vine accurate. We just kind of made it look similar to how it looks in the game. But if you wanted to, you could take extra time and make it super accurate. Yeah. And color each individual pixel. One thing you want to be careful when you're using these markers, especially this Y900, is if you get really close to the Sharpie or you go over the Sharpie, it'll blend or smear that Sharpie into your color. So I try to stay a little ways away from it, even leave a white border, and that makes it a little easier to color without smearing the Sharpie. Then we're using Y648 to color the top of the arms, also the feet and this big eyebrow. Muscular <laughs> eyebrow. Muscular eyebrow. <laughs> also, we could use this brown underneath the eye. Then I'm gonna use my red marker, which is R107 for the little red pupils. Ooh, you could also add a poppy right here. Maybe I'll do that. Then I'm using CG03 to add the little shading on his nose. We could also use this to add shading on other parts 
of his body, like the bottom of his hand or his arm. Next, we're going to use Y611 to add extra texture to the body. So right here, I added a line or shadow for the bottom of his body. Then we can also add this texture line at the top of his body. And also, he has muscular arms. So I'm going to add a little rectangle shape there and also there. And I'm going to repeat that same little pattern two more times down his arm. So we can add it here. And then also further down, right about here. And then repeat that same step on the left side. Now he also has strong muscles. So let's add the muscles up here on the top of his body. We'll add a little rectangle shape in the middle. And then we're gonna draw a, rec a long rectangle shape that goes out to the side and the same thing on the left. Hadley, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing our iron golem. I especially love that little poppy that he's holding. Me too. I also love the vine crawling up his body. Yeah, that turned out really cool too. Now you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring. What else could our art friends do to their drawing? You could add a background. Yeah, I think a background would be super cool. You could add him in the village. Oh yeah, protecting the villagers. Or swatting me. <laughs> Attacking you. Maybe you're flying up in the air. <laughs> We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your iron golem. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.